made it here at Hive Art. And it's time to go put the Banksy banana inside. So uh, I hope everything goes well. Let's do it. Banksy has a group of people. Let me just show you. So these are actually the texts from the Banksy people. Are these guys friends with Banksy? Uh, yeah, the whole team. Of course Banksy has a group of people. I didn't know that. I, I didn't it was know just that. Banksy. I didn't know it either. Yeah, apparently this Nathan guy who owns the art gallery, he's friends with the Banksy people. Or at least he's in the same loop with them. While we were off, like, promoting his painting or whatever, uh, he was contacting all the Banksy people about how he was going to be showing a Banksy painting in his art gallery. So chances are very good it's an original. My friend who works for Banksy has buyers ready. Uh, he has buyers, buyers ready? ready? Uh, the photo's been emailed to London directly to Banksy's number one assistant. Oh yeah, so it hit the source. Sorry, it's texting, <laughs> but it's looking more and more like you cut a live one. If it's a Banksy and the kid wants more than you got, then I'll throw it down. It's like, I'll buy the painting. So, so all of Banksy's people at this point believe that it's a Banksy painting. Yep. Whatever we wanted for the painting, they were willing to give us. For an ugly banana. Yeah. So no matter how much, whatever we said, we could have said <laughs> a million dollars. A million dollars. It would have been worth a million dollars. This, this, this just proves the whole point of what we're trying to do. This crappy painting Ben painted of a half-peeled banana was worth a million dollars. Not because of the quality of art or the meaning it. wasn't. It. We painted it to be bad. It was supposed to be bad on purpose, and yes. they're still finding value in this. Because, because, because of the art, because it's a Banksy. That's the only reason, it's because <laughs> of who painted it. And then Holly texted back saying this is the best. The consensus from Banksy's headquarters is that the whole story and painting is bogus. Ah. I'd still send the authentication form just for the Banksy paperwork. So literally moments ago, they were willing to pay infinite amount of money. And then they find out it's not painted by who they thought, and now it's worthless. So it's not at all about the art. It just the art didn't change. Nothing changed. Nothing about the meaning changed. Nothing about the colors changed. Nothing. Nothing at all. Just still ugly. did it. Yeah, still, <laughs> still an ugly, crappy banana. In the matter of seconds, this painting goes from priceless to worthless, based off of the single fact that it's no longer painted by who people think. The for some reason Nathan was still <laughs> down to show it up in his art gallery. So. We just kept playing stupid and we're like, okay, if you want to hang it up, we'll hang it up. Awesome, great for us. Keep it as a kind of a mythology, man. We still wanted to advertise this as a Banksy painting, so. What if the art piece is just called Banksy's Banana? I like that, just Banksy's Banana. So when people see it, they're like, oh, Banksy's Banana, that must be Banksy that drew it. And when really it's just the name of the art piece, that's all it is. This was in the news, this banana painting. These guys did a whole setup, wore spy glasses, went to the Cincinnati Art Museum. She's been taking this banana painting all over the world. Cross country. Twice. Totally Banksy banana. Yeah. We just found out, like, yeah, we thought it was a Banksy, so everyone's taking I pictures with it. I can talk to these guys right now because oh. I, I, I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> I feel bad, dude. I didn't know how to say it to you. So, uh, just like that, you broke our hearts. Sorry, dude. It's hard to crush your hopes and dreams on that. But I just like what you're doing. I like the spirit of it. That you're you're on this adventure, and uh, it, dude. I and mean, it's its own art form, you know. I mean, it, the fact that you went to a fucking museum and got a piece of art. The actual performance aspect is kind of like a modern type of art performance. It's giving people the look at a fucking phallic banana painting that's just a fucking horrible painting. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, no one would give a fuck about that painting. But the fact that you're doing this, it, it makes it really... It goes beyond the actual piece of art. It's about the performance, it's about being out there, and that's super modern. I mean. YouTube and shit like that. It's yeah. So he still believes our story and he's letting us hang it up anyways. And how we much, have how it much is there. it currently hanging it's in the art show? It's currently hanging up in the art show for $10,000. <laughs> Written in at the most expensive piece in there. Like they're going to get questions. <laughs> it's $10,000 and there's a hole in it. In part two, we showed an influencer who goes by the Magic Crasher on video. In part three, you said there really wasn't much that you could do to help us because we haven't really built the hype yet. You can't just put out the video and then all of a sudden expect to, for me to hit up, or anyone, to hit up the news station. Because the story needs to have some legs right now. Like, people need to kind of talk about it. Because this wasn't actually a Banksy, we were never going to get the hype that he wanted about this painting. So we kind of just had to fabricate it ourselves. 
Nathan. We edited Nathan's conversation up and we kind of cherry picked all the good parts. Basically, we just took his words out of context and make it look like he was saying things that weren't really true. This is the definition of taking somebody's words out of context. <laughs> For real. We just reworded all his sentences around to make it look like things were happening that weren't actually happening. Now, there. Let's do this. Fake news, gotta love it. What up, Gene? Yo, what's up, G? Because that guy made that comment, that one part of him just saying, dude, that's gonna be millions of dollars, and you just saying, like, yeah, good, that's the goal. And yeah, that's the goal. He's like, are you guys serious? That's awesome. Like, just that little piece right there is, is um, so candid and so real. We had a meeting, and if we know an up and coming influencer is going, is onto something, what we would do is we would get with them. So, for example, you guys, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. We, we, we have the art influence, we have the news outlets, we have the PR, we have all that. But if someone's worth it, like their story, like yourself, yeah. we would take you guys on as a client, give you all that you need, meaning uh, the exposure, the viral your PR and all that. Yeah. Get you on the talk shows that we need because John Reese knows everywhere. Then the story breaks. Assuming millions of dollars does come your guys' way. I think you guys can pull off three million. That'd be it. You know why? This is a controversial painting. There's like just more controversial shit about this painting. You know, you're this Helen shot right now. It's about 93%. Alright, cool. I want to call you something. Okay. To let people no, there's a bank at this art gallery. Can you confirm it? Like, let, let community know. Right. He said a 93% shot on Ellen. We have to convince the Hive art guy to roll with us. We're gonna call the news reporters, they're gonna go to the art show, they're gonna talk to Nathan, and he's gonna say, no, this isn't actually a Banksy painting. We don't know who it is, but it's not Banksy. We're just hanging it up because we enjoy the spirit of the art, like how he was saying. What if we, the conversation we just had, we cut it, like we cut his, and give it to him, and that way he gets excited about it. Be like, listen, like, this is going to go big and blow up. So that's exactly what we did. <laughs> so Nathan was throwing an art party, and he invited us to it. Hey! Yo, we're at the party. We're about to go talk to Nathan. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. He said he was down. Did he say he was down? He, yeah, yeah. He, he did. said that if someone came up to him asking if it was a Banksy, he wouldn't say no. That's what we need, so that to me that means he is down. So now our friend the Magic Crasher is about to send all of these billionaires, CEOs of these huge companies, our Banksy videos. I uploaded four videos and they're all unlisted so you can't watch them unless you have the link. Beautiful. I'm gonna put it in an email. I guess you're gonna show the guys these videos and then we just wait for what they say or? And I'm going to attach everyone on it. When Nathan was talking to all his Banksy art friends, one of his art friends, once they found out it was fake, decided to write a news article about us. He did a freaking story on us. So Schneider pulled a painting of a banana from his backpack. <laughs> Fortunately, the painting's originality could be easily confirmed by a department of Banksy studio called Pest Control. Unfortunately, Pest Control declared the painting and its story completely bogus. Shoot. Uh, but what's novel about Schneider is how cunningly he utilized the 21st century concept of fake news to his benefit. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. Bro, wait, what is going on? By inventing Frisk, the non-existent avatar that hung the painting in the CAC, he created a base of believability that hyperallergic hyper needed. After that, the story went viral and appeared on a slew of other news outfit, outlets and websites. Bingo, instant credibility. Add the shadowy figure of Banksy to the mix. And this dude, they got this down to a T of exactly what we were doing. And there's more than enough cloudy confusion to make things seem perfectly clear to the right sucker. Yeah, I don't know. Basically this article is saying that we're carrying around this banana painting, claiming it's a Banksy, when it's not really a Banksy. And they were to prove that because there's this website called Pest Control that they emailed, and Pest Control came back and said it was fake. That's the only way you can get a Banksy painting verified. Is yeah. through pest control. There's no and other it was, way. And pest control is designed to stop people from doing what it is Ben and I are trying to do. <laughs> but but we, we didn't know pest control existed until we read this article. Yeah, we, yeah, we had no idea. So, to every problem there is a solution. <laughs> yes.
Never give up. When you buy a Banksy painting, Banksy's team sends you this certificate of authenticity through the mail. The certificate is said to be impossible to forge. I say we we create the fake pest control document and get on the news with that. I'm with you, I agree. With basically zero experience in Photoshop, I decided to take on this challenge and forge something that is unforgeable. With this article being out saying pest control says it's fake, now we have proof that pest control says it's real because look, we have the document. It's their word versus our physical proof. Banksy's team sent him a certificate of authenticity of the Banksy painting. Really? Oh, dude. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, I'll send you a picture um, of it. It's cool. Yeah, please do. Um, they just, they just sent. Uh, his buddy Rodney, who I met, um, the Certificate of Authenticity. This company is the only people that can COA uh, Banksy art, and they sent him one. So, you guys got a COA, that's huge. I was thinking you could send this, like, to the the people I that... I, I am. Okay, and that cool. way, if there's any, like, doubt at all that it's not a Banksy, you're like, oh, well, here's the certificate, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, and I'll play stupid too. I'll be like, hey, following up from that email, oh, by the way, here's their COA. If any time you need that yeah, right now. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it came in like perfect timing. Yeah, it's like, hello, meant to be right there. Sick, I just sent it to you. Yeah, check it out. It's okay. pretty cool. So here's my question to you, just so I got this right. So the date that's on the COA is May 3rd, 2018. So that means that that's when uh, the painting was created. Uh. I guess. I'm not sure. We can look it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I was... We messed up. The COA is supposed to be so hard to forge, and we did it. And we messed up on the easiest part. We yeah. put the wrong date yeah. on the COA. Yeah. It's supposed to be 2019. You just see my face when he yeah. says that. I'm like, <gasps> I look back at you. I'm like, Michael, what do we do? Go, what do we do? What do we do, Michael? You're like, you're like oh, we messed up. What? I just turned the computer away because I'm like, <gasps> I didn't want him to see my surprised face. I mean, we don't know right. how long he had had that piece yeah. for, you know? We can't change it. Because there's no way we can just be like, oh yeah, it was a mistake. Like, here, here's the updated version. Like, he can't just update it. Why isn't that a freaking nine? He believes that it's the date that he, that Banksy created it, right? I mean, we're going to have to go with it. Let's get All right, you ready? Banana, guys. Who banged it? Uh, Banksy. Okay. You ready, Banksy? Yeah. Banksy. Yeah. 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 Y